Hello guys, welcome back to the automation interview Q&A uh, part 4. So today I have three interesting questions, uh, two from Selenium and one from Java. Okay. So the first one is like name few exception that you faced in automations and then when we cannot use at the rate find by and then the third one write a program to find the largest number in the given array same similarly like you will get like find the smallest number in the given array. Okay. So we'll go with the program first. Now we can solve this in two ways. So we'll go with the easiest one. So V1. Um, basically, what we can do is we can just sort it out, and then we can take the probably the largest. So we can take the last one. Okay. So simple. So we can say like arrays dot sort, and then we can pass our actual array, and that's going to return me a void. So we no need to store it anywhere. It will just mutate the values. Okay. And then I can say like a sys out, and then just maybe some um concatenation basically and here we can say like uh, array of um the last value so for the last value we can give the length here so we can say like array um dot length minus one so the n minus value one right so let's go and print it out and hopefully we should get the 89 as the max and here we got this one right let's check another one so we are going to give one duplicate as well as one negative and then maybe one more positive with a max value, right? Let's go and run this. And of course, we got the max as 100. That is absolutely correct, right? That's it. So this is the way one. Let's go and do it in the way two. Uh, so mostly, we should always go with the way two. I mean, we should not use the same build functions like arrays dot short or collections concept or stream concept. What they expect is basically like how we are going to think it logically, okay? So it's simple only, but let's try it. Okay. So what I will do, I will just uh, declare a max here. So initially I will say like uh, my array of zero. So I will take the zeroth one and I will just command this. So I don't want to get sorted here. So let's command this entire thing. Okay. And um, so basically I try to take this one, right? So here array of zero in the sense, I will consider this as my maximum value okay then we'll just write a loop here uh, not this one so we'll just write a loop and yeah and we'll start it from one because already we have taken the zeroth value this means it means we have taken this value now we have to compare from this value right so what we can do is we can write a simple uh, if condition here so if the max is going to be lesser than array of five then we can just uh, mutate the value. So what we can do is uh, here in this case, max is basically the first one that is 28 and array of i in the sense the array of i basically uh, array of one that is 15. Okay, so if max is going to be lesser than this value, then we can just simply make that value as a max. Correct. Okay? So here I can say like max equal to array of i. Correct. If it's lesser than right so in this case what will happen here we have 28 and here we have 15 which is obviously not lesser than right so of course it don't happen right then it will go to the uh, i plus plus that means it will be i will become two now so here it's also one so in that case also it is not going to be satisfied so value will not change similarly it will go till here and here we have the 100 value right now what will happen before that of course we have the 89 so 89 what will happen in the sense uh, array of i will be the 89 and max is 28 basically right so it is lesser than that means array of i has the value of uh, 89 that will be stored in this particular variable right so that's it now let's go and after the loop i'm just going to print out this on max so let's see whether we are getting the correct one and yeah we got the correct one right now here also you can see we have 89 and 89 so do you have to write like lesser than equal to not necessary this is pretty much fine okay so that's it we are done we are done with the first program so we can do it in two ways we can either go with rs.sort but mostly interview do not ask you to use the inbuilt functions uh, other than this also we have another way like we can use the collections concept here so let me write here so we have three uh, what we can say is we can say like um, collections dot uh, max here 
and within this we have to pass the wrapper class so we cannot pass the, the this one so uh, if it's going to be integer for instance if it's going to be uh, integer then i can say like um, arrays uh, not this one so arrays as list and i can pass my array here and that will return me a integer okay so that is also fine but again most of the time we they will ask us to write the uh, what we call that um, mathematical way so the they just wanted to know what is our thought process not like what are the functions we know within the java okay so i hope that makes sense to you and this is a very simple program so if, if you want to do the same for um, smallest so in this case of course you have to take the first one and in this case you have to just change the if condition that is that's it pretty much fine okay so let's close this one we'll go with the next one so here we have like when we cannot use the at find by right so basically what is at find by at find by is a uh, technique to find the locators from the dom right so we have like driver dot find elements similarly if you are going to use the page factory then obviously we use the at find by but let me show you like when we cannot use it uh, let me check whether I have the selenium. Yeah, I have the selenium dependency here. So within the same class, I mean same package, I will create another class and I'll say like not find by. Okay, so I'm just going to write a very uh, simple function, nothing much here. So get um, login button, something like that. Okay, just for your understanding. And uh, it's not going to return me anything, right? Okay. And um, of course, whenever you are going to use the page factory, you should have the constructor and within that you have to initialize your page factory, all those stuff. So I believe you know that if not, uh, do let me know. We'll make a separate video for this one. Okay. So here we'll go to the main topic. So at find by. So when I say like at find by. Uh, so here, if I let's say that I want to find a X path, okay, with the value like um, um, maybe like uh, double slash input and then i have something like at the rate id equal to um, some value like user okay and we can store this in a private um, web element basically and we'll just name this like element okay so this finds so this is like uh, this is the way we should uh, declare that find by and we have to use it but to use this of course we have to use the constructor where we have to initialize the page factory that's different let's not worry about it okay so here when we cannot use it is basically uh, if you have a dynamic x path um, for example let's say that uh, we, we are going to write a x path based on some text okay so double slash um, maybe i will say like uh, div where it has a text node called uh, maybe i'll just state my name okay so it's like more of like welcome um Koshik, okay so we are going to see like we are as soon as we do the login we are able to get this uh, name okay now this name should be dynamic like uh, from excel or from anywhere if we are going to pass the name uh, then that name should be re uh, reflected here right so what we generally do is we can say like driver dot i mean of course i have to get a, a driver for that so let me do that um, okay so driver and then followed by uh, this is just to show you example don't ask me like why don't you create constructor everything so this is just to make you understand okay so find by x path and here i can use the same but let me show you okay so i can copy and paste over here and what can i do is instead of this kaushik what can i say like i can say like um, string name equal to um strategy maybe okay and then i can do the concatenation here right so i can just remove this guy and i can say like uh, okay i want to um do the concatenation how to do that i forgot yeah uh, so here i can say like name okay that should work right so this will this this will gen basically take the value take this name from uh, this variable and then it will do and we are getting here because we have to initialize the driver so let it be null no problem as of now okay um so this is pretty much possible right so this is how the we, we used to write the dynamic x path so this name will be coming from your excel sheet or maybe any other um, sources 
and from there we can do the concatenation this is fine but the problem with that fine by uh, we cannot do this for example let's say that we have to copy this paste it to here and let me copy the same x path from here and paste over here right so this is not possible we cannot do in any sort uh, because if i mouse on this it, at fine by you can see that uh, it's basically need a constant object so we cannot do anything right yeah so it's uh, not able to find it now but of course we cannot do any of the uh, like this so we cannot do anything like this um, so this this won't work so here you can see the value of, for annotation attribute uh, must be a constant expression that that is what i'm trying to say here so we cannot do anything okay so now the interviewer might be ask you like so many questions like we can instead of this we can write it here itself and can we pass the variable name that is also uh, not possible so here again you can see so we have to declare it we cannot initialize and pass it anywhere so that's not the thing with the at find by so uh, if you have to find dynamic x path we cannot use the at find by in that scenario i hope that makes sense to you okay and the last question is like name a few exception that you faced in automation so it's pretty easy but uh, the way you have to say is what makes you stand out of the crowd for example here are the list of exceptions um, that are available in the selenium webdriver api so you can just go through it i will just leave a link in the description even though the documentation says like py that means python but these are common for the webdriver so you can just learn it from here itself okay but how to answer it is uh, like you, you should make sure that you, if you say exception you should also say like when it uh, occurs for example uh, if you're saying like unhandled alert exceptions then you have to say when this occurs so like uh, if there is an alert and we are trying to do some click actions or even print the title in that case of course we will get like unhandled alert exception right so that is how you have to say if you are trying to say about this stale element you should know the scenario like when stale element occurs and how we are going to explain that to the interviewer okay so uh, that's it for this video um, probably other than the last questions i didn't say much because just exception name you have to remember this uh, we don't have any choices but if you are learning the selenium tamil series from our channel probably for each and every video i have explained the exceptions as well with examples as well okay so yeah that's it for this video i will see you in the next one with three set of different questions well where we we will have selenium and the java as well okay maybe a few times i will take the protector questions as well so stay tuned stay subscribed and click on the bell notification to get instant subscribe thanks for watching see you in the next one Peace. Any trouble, yeah, we coming through as one You know I got your back in every way under the sun Girl, I be staring, looking at you every single night I just gotta let you know you got enough